Okay, wanted to follow up on a little of this trade activity from earlier. Let's go take a look real quick. So as I mentioned in the prior video, look to bust this pivot. If we did, then we could accelerate down a bit to the overnight session low price. And uh, I'm down to last four runners. I'll take one off if we break this lower pivot and leave some more on. Never know. I still got a lot of time left in the day, so things could get ugly. But, uh, and we're doing good today on 300K accounts. Uh, it's the only size accounts I trade. These are some evalu new evaluation ones. And then we have a, the, the nice thing through two separate prop firms, you can trade up to 20 accounts. Apex is 300K. Elite Trader Funding, what are those? I think we got uh, 250K accounts, if I remember. Uh, so anyhow, and they can be all connected together on Trade Copier. Uh, you can trade on one platform. Trade of eight or NT8, and then have that trade activity copied out to 19 other accounts per sign up. So, uh, I will say I want to put in a little good word for what are they called? Uh, what's their name? Take Profit Trader. Uh, they're now letting people trade up to three accounts connected inherently already within the Trade of eight platform. Uh, their account size is 150K. And I like their new Pro Plus account features. If those guys could go to at least 10 accounts and give me a 250 or 300K account, I'd really be in love with them. But they're going in the right direction, and hopefully we'll get there. Uh, so anyhow, let's take a quick look at the trade day and uh, what's going on here. As you know from prior videos, I was working the... So we have a level... We swept the level. I call those level sweeps. It's my favorite trade there is. And reversals, the reversal trade. So I threw in some liquidity, pushed a little bit out of the open, threw in more, took some off, uh, bailed on some positions, came up. We got another level sweep and reversal, put on more liquidity, added some. Right here on the rollover, added some took some off and we just had another low we had a lower pivot high sequential so high lower pivot high sequential lower pivot high and sequential lower pivot high we had another lower pivot high right here so you could have hit that too so as you can see my cost basis has come down some to this last pivot and uh, I'm in my last four. I'm only in MNQ runners right here, but I'm way up on the day, way over. Uh, I go for 1,250 per 300K account. And uh, so way over, way over daily goal today. And I thought uh, we'd either get a V, inverted V, or we'd get a grinder with an eventual dump. Uh, so we had the uh, news push. The market open push, pullback after the U.S. cash session second push. So we've had multiple level uh, level sweeps today. Swept the level, prior level, established a new level, swept it, and down we go. And now we're starting to create lower pivot lows. Uh, the big key pivot, to just to wrap up this video, I don't want it to go too long. We have one right here. And then we have quite a ways down before we get to any next prominent area where there may be some support before we could potentially go lower. And what is lower? Okay, let's go look at that. <laughs> uh, way down here. So, you know, we got levels on the way down that are, that are uh, on deck. So let's expand these out. And the only one I drew this fatter, we have the bottom of that pivot and all of this pivot kind of combined there. So there we go. That's our that's our near term and longer term uh support if we start going lower. Uh which at you know one of these days this market's gonna sell off. Once the investment banks, IBs and institutionals feel like they've completed their distribution operations where they're 
distributing and unwinding stocks that they've been continuing to work to clean up their portfolios. Uh, you know, they pump the market, they distribute, pulls back, they pump it, and they push it higher, distribute, and they push it higher and distribute. So they've been doing that for a long time. This really, really, this reminds me of 2007. Look at all those distribution cyclical activity. Some people call it rotation. It's actually distribution up here. Um, this still reminds me of 2007, other than the cycles are more numerous in nature, because in 2007, IBs weren't allowed to use Fed discount window money. Then 2008, 2009 happened. Too big to fail. Provisions allowed. Investment banks, pets of the uh, Federal Reserve Banking System. Uh, to start using Fed discount window to buy stocks, options, futures. Uh, we have an explosion in options and the shorter term options. Uh, go look at SPY volumes. Uh, heck, even, even SP and SPX volumes, depending how big of a size trader you are uh, compared to back in 2007. So the activity is almost, I don't want to say it's hyperdimensional now, compared to 2007, but there's uh, free funny money liquidity that investment banks can go grab to play with in the casino now that they didn't have in 2007. So there you have it. That was uh, today's action so far. We'll see if by end of day we come down and test this level. Uh, this is the NAS 100. It equates pretty much evenly with NQs, MNQs. Uh, this is the contract for difference. And if I go right now and populate the NQ chart on here, it'll look, the patterns will look identical. The, the, the trading is almost to the tick and lockstep. It's not exactly, but it, it's close enough. So I can take a signal in the uh, NAS 100 CFD and go work my trades on NQ. Or I can take a signal from the NQ and go work my trades on the NAS 100 if you're trading a FX brokerage. Contract for different uh, contract for difference instrument. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, lots of lower pivot highs to pounce on today after a couple level sweeps. I'm not at all a buyer here. Uh, this area and below uh, will be the interesting area, and uh, we'll see what we get today, tomorrow, and into the rest of the week. So there you have it. Z box system. With the shaded bands and the updated Z line, we changed the name to Z Trend Indicator. Uh, all of this stuff is adjustable in speed and sensitivity and deviations from the mean as far as the bands go. But this indicator, you can adjust it also. Uh, so it's uh, fantastic for scalping, intraday position trading, and so on. Okay, there you have it. A little bit of a catch up here with about two and a half hours left uh, in the, uh, I'm sorry, about three, little over, just under three and a half hours left in the U.S. cash session today. Okay, talk to everybody later. Have a great day.